compact fluorescent lamp versus LED showdown. And the reason this happened was because I've got a small table light next to my bed, and in the evenings, pull the curtains across, turn it on, and it usually starts off really dimly, as most compact fluorescent lamps do. And in the winter months, it was really starting super dimly before, and it taking a while to come up to um, brightness. And it's not that old a lamp. And it just spontaneously thought, well, to be honest, I don't need a lot of illumination because um, really it's just to find my way to bed, so to speak. And uh, I tend, if I'm going to do anything in bed, it's going to be with the iPad to watch videos on YouTube or play games or whatever. And um, so I changed the 6.5 watt uh, lamp. That's what this one measures at. It says 7 watt, but measures 6.5. I changed it for the 1.8 watt LED lamp, which was just the first one that came to mind. Plugged it in and thought, that's really bright. That's so much brighter than this one. And so tonight I put this one back in and let it run up to full intensity. Gave it plenty of time, gave it over an hour to run up to full brightness. And then I did some light tests at three positions. If that's the table light and that's the wall behind it and that's the bench. I took a test where I normally put my mug of coffee. I did a test just horizontal with the lamp itself and then I took a measurement on the ceiling for the bounce light and I kind of expected the LED to fire a lot more light up the way and it did. So the only time that the compact fluorescent lamp won was by a margin on the area just below the light because everywhere else the LED lamp beat it and you're thinking that's 1.8 watts versus 6.5 watts. Power factors incidentally 0.6 for the compact fluorescent lamp, no great surprise there. Really oddly 0 0.06 for the LED lamp, which is very strange. The LED lamp um, has a 820 nanofarad uh, dropper in it, capacitive dropper, and then it's got 10 of these little surface mount uh, LEDs on an aluminium plate inside, and it, it runs cold. There's no real significant heat off it at all, versus this one, which gets very hot. So. I didn't realise how fast the LEDs were um, sort of dominating the sort of lighting scene, but you know what? That was surprising. Uh, the LED totally wins out over the compact fluorescent lamp. Um, very, very good, actually.